Before we go any further with that, let's take a look at tomorrow's front pages. We start with the Daily Mail. Finally, a voice of common sense. That refers, of course, to Boris Johnson making what would only 10 minutes ago have seemed extraordinarily banal uh, observations about the nature of human sex and gender. The Mail says, finally, a voice of common sense. And also, now Putin's daughters are hit by sanctions. A lot of newspapers taking the opportunity to publish some glamorous Russian totty to meet. The Telegraph says, what is this pit, I asked. They said, this is a graveyard for you. Well, that's a fairly bleak scene there being described, I would imagine, from the Ukraine. Also, energy plan, batch nuclear, wind and solar. Plus, Sunak's wife, a non-dom for tax purposes. That is the story which prompted the reflections you saw a few minutes earlier. The Independent leads on an exclusive that Rishi Sunak's wife avoided paying her tax bills through her non domicile status. I say an exclusive, although obviously you've also seen that on another paper, and I suspect that will be our one of our main stories. It is said Akshata Murti, that's her name, may have, and to be fair, my own wife keeps her name as well, Akshati, Akshata Murti may have saved millions on foreign earnings. There doesn't seem to be much doubt about it, to be honest. Thursday's Guardian says the PM's push for nuclear power splits Tories and angers green groups. I can't imagine why. They must be fundamentally illiterate about the nature of energy. Plus, US targets daughters of Putin with fresh sanctions and Sunak's wife is registered as non-dom for tax purposes. That's uh, the big three stories on The Guardian. The Financial Times says Western allies impose harshest sanctions yet on Russian banks. No pictures of Putin's daughters. And Facebook's owner plans Zook Bucks, Zuck Bucks, I guess that's Zuckerman, isn't it? And uh, digital coin foray. So they're coming out with their own crypto coinage into the metaverse. Oh, it's also very tiresome. The Mirror says Sunak wife tax fury. Good old fashioned Mirror headlinees there. As Richie Sunak's wife may be spared paying millions in UK taxes while her husband raids the nation's wallets. The Times leads with UK to send armoured vehicles to aid the Ukraine, as military chiefs say the UK is adding to its, le to its offer of lethal weapons in the belief that the next three weeks will be critical in determining the outcome of the war. And the Daily Express goes with, thank you, Prime Minister, sports stars back Boris in trans Round, not a trans row, which would be an interesting sort of uh, show closer, but that is instead uh, the row, and Boris has finally made some sort of commitment to his uh, come off the fence. Fill your boats, uh, say the sun. The uh, thieves nick 250 grand's worth of diesel from Navy ship to flog on black, literally a black market. And the star say sacked for being a Brit, plus Basil Row or row, Basil Row on Botox and dog snog danger. My goodness, they are pulling out all the tongue twisters there. Those are the headlines. Let's have a deep dive.